All right. Welcome to today's stream. It's been a while, right? But uh, here we are. Let me see. Oh, I think I might be too big today. Give me a second. I need to like this because the chat will appear here. So, you know, I don't want those chat comments to be missed. Wait, so I can make this a bit smaller. Okay, and then I can make myself a bit bigger. But move myself down a bit. All right. I think this will be okay. Yeah, looks good. So, today, we're not going to be doing the Island of Coke. I did that for a while, right? But, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it got, it got, it wasn't as fun at the end, right? So, today we're going to do something real. We're going to actually implement a Haskell library. Uh, we're, we're gonna start, you know, I think we'll, we'll stream today. We'll stream tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but this is like a... Yeah, so this project will take a couple of... a little time, you know. We want to do it properly, so... We're gonna do it. Uh, so what is AWS Lambda Runtimes? Well, AWS uh, allows you to run lambda functions right and they are uh, so so they started out being these simple just these simple um, JavaScript functions but then oh give me a second I gotta charge my watch yeah they started out being these simple JavaScript functions then you could like uh, you could you could write Python functions and now you can write Ruby and Java and Go and .NET but uh, they've actually opened it up completely now so as long as your program implements a certain interface you're supposedly able to uh, run any programming language which should be cool so what we're going to try to do, we are going to try and make a um, custom runtime for Haskell as a library uh, that will essentially, you know, uh, you define some hooks and it's going to start like a warp server or like a servant. Yeah, a warp server. Yeah, warp server definitely. And respond to those requests by applying, you know, you get past the function, uh, the parameters, your function returns a result, and uh, warp does the shuttling between. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. Like I said, no promises about progress today. In fact, yeah, I think a lot of the work today will be figuring out you know docker aws how to get how to get haskell running in one of these custom runtime containers uh i'm gonna have to use sudo a lot that's okay uh, because i've uh, changed my password so even if you see me type it on the keyboard it's gonna be different so don't try anything, hacker man. All right, let's uh, let's get started. See, so to use other languages, you're not, you can implement a custom runtime. Lambda Jenkins Ryan provides a runtime interface for getting invocation events and sending responses. You can deploy a custom runtime function alongside your function code or in a layer. This is what we're gonna try to do. And we'll see how it goes. Do, 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 do. How's everyone doing? We got three viewers. I mean, I, I was offline for like two weeks, three weeks. Um, enjoying Christmas, Christmas break. But now everyone's getting back to work. Those that have work. Um, and then, you know, it's time to 
fire up the old stream. See what we can do. Okay, so let's see custom AWS run times. Uh, you can include a runtime in your functions deployment package. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now container images. I think that's what we want. Um, Docker Hub has an AWS. Yeah, tags AL2. So, what's the difference between Amazon Linux and Amazon Linux 2? Amazon Linux 2. Okay. I mean, it's probably newer, right? So, probably better, right? Next generation of Amazon Linux. Optimized performance. Predictability. Container image. Okay. Let's use that. Let's see. Let's use this. So we are going to look up this uh, Docker. Linux 2 is good. Yeah. Uh, I think so. I think it's going to be good. But, you know, the issue is here. Are we going to get Haskell to run on it? Right? Uh, let's by Amazon. Bing, bing, bing. I used to use Docker a lot, but like three years ago, three or four years ago. I'm hoping, I mean, and then, you know, back then you were using these, like you didn't use Kubernetes or anything. You used the, uh, we used the, uh, I don't know, some beans, some, some custom Amazon thing they had. And it, but it was okay. Um, what was it called? They said, Lambda, AWS Lambda provided. Here we go. And, yeah, let's see if I remember. Tags, and then we want AL2. Right. AL2. Nice. All right, let's pull it. 99 megabytes. That's not a lot. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm running Nixos. Uh, it's in a virtual machine. And uh, I haven't been able to update my windows. So I can't run VSL2. But I think I this will be fine. But we just have like the demon running here. <laughs> It's very, uh, it's very gangsta. Right, let's pull it. No, that's not what I want, dude. Keep it gangsta. I wish there was a. Yeah. Are you ready? Catch my password. Did you catch it? I tapped it on the keyboard. It's for the virtual machine only though, so. And if you do decode it, uh, you'll see why it doesn't actually make sense. Let's, let's stop the lo-fi music, let's put on hip hop. Ooh, see, copyright free hip hop music. That's a little bit more gangster, right? I know, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not JC. You know, I, <laughs> you've all seen Office Space, right? I'm that, I'm like, I'm the guy from Office Space, you know, I listen to, listen to hardcore rap on my way to work, but I'm super white. Eh, yeah, that's just how it is. Okay. Eh, yeah, doctor. So, so. Okay, doctor. Run. What was again the commands here? Oh, Docker. Docker. Help. 
God damn it. Do I really need to do? Yeah, okay, anyway. So we're gonna say Docker images as sudo. This is going to be a mess. Okay. Um, uh, Docker run. I think it's RM and then IT. Yeah. Amazon AWS Lambda provided. Oh my god. Uh, ALT. Entry point requires cache. Oh no. Oh, okay, yeah. It's okay. Right. I think we need to. And yeah, Michael Bolton. <laughs> Why should I change my name? He's the one that sucks. That's how it goes. Okay. Uh, let's make this. What are we going to call it? Uh, make your AWS uh, Lambda. Runtime API. Rapey. Oh, that is not PC. Uh, Larpy. See? You just make up a name. This is my superpower. They say it's one of the hardest things in computer science naming things. Now, uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, lover knows what's up. Uh, I, I don't remember. Wait, so man, so Docker uh, run. Oh. It's like a, it's like a, this is like an argument you can say. Um, to make it run like another executable than the entry point. Yes. So we are going to say uh, entry point bash. Oh no. Does anyone remember? What is the. What is the. Uh, Oh, I just want to run bash or shell or something. Entry point is your bash. Uh, um. All right, we're googling. Uh, exec, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? I was almost there. Oh no. <laughs> I can see it in the chat, but like on the screen. The one that you, you all see. You can't you can't see You can't see the string for some reason. I don't know why. It's like they thought it was a curse a curse <laughs> curse word. <sighs> it's censorship. We're being censored. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, I need to. Oh no, no such container. Uh, right. It's because it's not running. Uh, yeah. Okay, we need to do. Uh, we need to do. Yeah. So it. That's what we're doing. Run it first, yeah. But like, if I run it, it's going to start doing stuff, right? So, cause like, I can't, I can't just run it. Uh, requires to have this. Uh, okay, now let's see. 
I wish I had uh, written like a like shared history or something like that. Okay, so sudo. Oh, now you can't see anything. Uh, okay, let me let me resize this window. Oh, and then let me open up something dark. So you can see the chat. Okay, that's it. A uh, pseudo uh, docker exec et. Uh, what did you do? So docker container. Uh, docker ls, I think. Oh. Because it's like, it's gonna, it's, it allocates like a, a docker ps. Yes. Pseudo docker ps. That's a passport. Okay. Uh, yes. Boom. Boom. So let's go Docker exit IT a user mesh. Yes. Got it. How does this help us though? So what we gotta do? Is we kind of have to do that whole thing where we kind of download GAC, we com we compile it things. I I remember I, this was the status in 2016, right? You had to like have one extremely long run command. That basically, you know, downloaded everything, compiled it, uh, and then kind of compiled the, the resulting executable, and then deleted everything, and except the resulting executable, because otherwise things would, things that would, 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 like it would cache it. Uh, and then like the container image size would be so big because like if you just install GHC and then you like remove it later Like it would be in the cache and it would take up all your cache Which was a uh, suboptimal, let me see Okay uh, yeah. no. Let me run it again and then we're gonna, we're gonna set no. Uh, yeah Okay, let's see. Let's run it again. Run it back. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do this container recipe thing. Except I have no idea what capabilities. Uh, what capabilities this, like, how do we install things into this container, right? So I'm gonna play around with bash a little bit. To, to figure out, you know, how can we do it? How can we do it? Okay, um... Let's see. Um, this uh, AWS Lambda provided. There was like a... was one with the Python here. Um... Lambda Java, Lambda Python. Okay, how do they do it? Yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the, that's the stuff. Oh, can I not? So it used to be the case that you could uh, that you could uh, um. Oh, okay, so there's branches. You could like, uh, you could always see the Docker file so at some point. Do, 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 do. Wow. Is this just the... <sighs> Look at the Docker...
Yeah, but I wanna see. Okay, talk about Python. Yeah, okay. We're in. Okay, this is absolutely useless. It doesn't tell us at all how this container was built. <sighs> all right, we're gonna look at Amazon Linux too. Whoop whoop. Uh, get started. No, it's gonna start something. Uh, Amazon Linux two. Chasing. Yes. This is like an EC2 though. Yunda uh, Lambda 2 GHC. What is Yamda? Yum for Lambda. Oh. That's convenient. See how they do it. Or file and grab devil files. Uh, and... Right, so do we have yum? Oh, we have yum. Okay, that's nice. Uh, yum. Okay. So yum. Uh, Can we like search yum somehow? Yum is. I'm hoping like this dumps everything and then. Oh. Okay, we're downloading. That's good. This 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 image is just like 99 megabytes, right? So it probably doesn't have yum stuff by default. Exactly the output we wanted. Now, correct GC. Uh, yeah. No, we don't have any GC. I bet it's less. We don't have less, we have more. Oh my god. Let's see. Similar stuff, just if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, we can't do yum install y golang, right? But, you know, yum install y gc. I mean, it's not that easy. So, uh, that's, the, that's the real issue here. This would be this would be nice, right? But we can't do it. Do, 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 do. This is this is not hard enough. Oh. Um. Um. Okay, so this is cool. I didn't know you could do this. Like, just write one Docker file now and then, like, copy things over. That's actually very convenient. Is this all we need? 
all we need. Okay, so let's see, GHC Alpine. Because we do have this, right? And, uh, and, uh, you know. We will have QQ accelerator. Now, oh my god. Let me see. Let's just look up GHC. <laughs> Buddy, he is. He's a legend. But uh, let me, let's just see. <sighs> okay, no. Yeah, so this guy is like a asshole. Legend. In some sense. Um, but. Uh, but uh, it's not it's not a, it's not what we want. Do, 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 do. Yeah, like I said, you know, this this stream it's not about doing the thing in high school, right? It's mostly about like how do we how do we even get started? Because it's easy, we're doing it because it's hard. That's what JFK said, right? Okay, I mean, so, like, uh, but, you know, this thing has 10k poles. And, you know, it is, we do need GCC. So, you know, I'm thinking that, uh, that uh, using this container isn't, isn't too bad, actually. And then kind of just doing the same thing as the Go, Go thing does. But, you know, with, uh, like this, uh, Go mod download, Go proxy direct. Add dot dot go build. Okay, so uh, let's, let's shut this down. Let's go to CD AWS LARPY. I like the name LARPY. Uh, Wim main.hs. Uh, IO. And main is equal to Mr. Alan. Hello. So, uh, GC main.hs oh, Just compile it, link it Okay, Prince hello Good stuff um, Now, we want to say uh, Docker pull Frolod Pseudo Frol, Frol Vlad, Frol Vlad. Ooh. Thanks, Oliver. And thanks for the follow. Yeah, but this is like, oh no, wait. Frol Vlad, oh, oh it's, it's, it's Alpine. Let's see, pulling FS, whoop, 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 it's working, it's working. Now, of course, this would be nice if we had a cabal and stuff also, but we don't, so 
let's see let's see what happens because what i'm gonna do is what i'm gonna do like this hey, let's let's just copy this over and let's go here and let's say We keep them coming back. So if you, any of you listen to uh, this guy, Rick Ross, and his unforgettable single, Hustlin', he makes it sound like he's very gangster. But apparently, he was like a prison guard. Like, prior to... becoming a rapper like he's that's like the least gangster job you can have I don't know, I don't know about that because like in his songs he keeps bragging about all these uh, you know gangster things he's doing So this is what I want, and then I want this stuff. Because uh, I want the runtime, because uh, it, it gives you things so you can test stuff. Do 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 do. Okay. Because see, then I could like test locally, like with RE. That's nice, right? Let's see this now. Yeah. Oh, my show. My show. Very Icelandic. So if I just do GHC, oh, main. Be able to use cabal so we're gonna have to mix that somehow <sighs> okay now cash dependencies uh, we're gonna do this later gc main.hs oh main and then we're gonna copy from uh alpine we're gonna get the, um, yeah. And then we're gonna add the lambda i or ry. And then, okay. Now, I wanna just do sudo docker fill. Okay, that was cool. Uh, 
we added the right. Okay, now. Let's see. Let's see docker images. Oh my god. New password, right? Um oh my god. To the docker build help. Because I can give it like a name, right? Um, right. Docker run IT copy. Uh, exec. What? So we added. Line three, user local bin lambda right not found. Okay, what are you gonna do now? Why isn't it? Why isn't it? It's, it, it, it oh, why? why? <laughs> so here it adds it to user bin lambda. Oh my god. There's just a bug in the. in the description of this. Okay, now we compile, link. Yeah. Compile, copy, run mod. Okay. And now we're gonna run mod. Okay. Larpy is running, so sudo docker exec it rp a bash no such container okay sudo docker exec it this thing and then user bin No centenic. Okay, so this doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, nice. Loading share library lib gmp lib ffi okay so we can't run the executable that sucks oh no uh so i think that's because uh you probably have to do it from uh for all vlad gcc like this Yeah. Okay. We have to change it up a bit. Let's see. See what happens. Do we want this lib FFI and and uh, maybe you actually just need the entire GC there? I don't know. 
Seems a bit of a waste though, right? Oh my god. Uh, can we, we can like tag it, right? Try something, T, right? I think. And then I can just do here like name Larky main. And now we're gonna go Dexic. Uh, actually, we can go like this. And it's gonna be bin. Shh, shh. Oh my god. Sudo Docker PS. Move this to seven. Where is our? Oh, I should have done it before. Okay. This, I think, should do the trick. No, yeah, wait. Nice, yeah. <sighs> Lipfi.so doesn't work, okay. Uh, so I think we might just need to, you know, confuse Use the Alpine GHC, eh, which is Docker. How do we clean up? our build command. Alright, let's see. to run main.hs on the alpine image and how big is it it's larpy it's 1.1 gigabytes you know that's that is a lot That is a very big image for one small program, right? Uh, 
And I don't even have Cabal. Uh, let's see. Docker Hub. looking for a GT compile static. Can I do that? I don't think it actually changed anything. anything oh. okay it doesn't crash So now this is Alpine. So APK. Uh, APK. Uh, add libff. Apply. Oh, sweet. APK add libgmp. Uh, APK search gmp. Okay. Can I run it now? Yes! Okay, so then we should be able to do this, right? Uh, from so 
prompt build main main, right? And then run apk add lib ffi and gp. Yeah, lib ffi gp. Yeah, okay, so let's do this. Now, let's build it. And look now, see, Docker images. So do Docker images, right? Now, LARP. We should clean this up. Uh, is 22 megabytes and not like 1.1 gigabytes. Um, what does the static flag do? That is a good question. I think it like it because I, I don't know. <laughs> what does the static flag do? GAC static. Because like you know, shouldn't it com copy the you know that's what the flag is supposed to do, right? GAC user guide flags. Do you have a flag? Uh, Use static Haskell libraries. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't generate. Oh my god. That is lame. That is pretty lame. Let me see. Yeah, so it generates static libraries. It doesn't generate static binaries. It's like... I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure how we just like make it do. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. That's I think that's like the point, right? You just, I just want a binary that I can run directly. I I don't. I don't want it this way, right? Okay, but anyway, we found out how to do this. Now, how do I? Uh, Docker, uh, let's just say here, Docker RMI star. Shoot up. Let's just remove all the images. Uh, oh. All right, sudo Docker RMI. Uh, I think I could do like a Docker images, the IMQ. Uh, images Q. I think I can do like this, and then I can do like pseudo docker RMI like this. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna force it. This is okay. This is fine. Now I kind of deleted everything except the ones that we're using. Oh, okay. Download some stuff. The main, and then we link the main. Okay. Oh. This is APK.
Now let's exec it again. Sweet. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, but like, I don't, I don't know the whole entire tool chain that well to be able to like do it right away. It's gonna be a bit rough. Anyway, we got, we got GHC working. I would like Cabal to work. That would be nice, right? Uh, how do we do that? Maybe gate search. Come on. Oh, nice. Maybe gate add. Come on. Hmm. That is nice. APK search Cabal. Oh. Uh, can we then like use it um uh... well, that's cool that's nice can we do a uh... Let's see. Now let's let's make a package of all version, uh, same version. So of all in it. Okay. Uh, let's let's do this somewhere else. So this is not going to be like the AVS LAR Pika ball. This is going to be like the tests. Make, make your test. Ball image. Okay, and then a Can I like output it somewhere else? Do like a let's see here. Docker file. Okay, so here we're gonna say this, and then we're gonna say uh, run apk add cabal. And then we're gonna say uh, add yes. And then we're going to say, and not GC static anything, we're going to say run cabal build there equals period. But then we're like forcing it to generate, uh, oh, Akko Andes, thanks for the follow. And we're like trying to, we need to. We need to change the name of the executable. Because uh, if the executable is not named... Oh, the executable is not named main, it's not actually going to be copied. Uh, okay, let's say here, Cabal build. Run mid tier cabal beans. Cabal beans. Cabal beans. Uh, like this? Does this work? Oh, 
can see. We had a cabal. And now, add test. Run make it cabal bins. Yeah. Uh, sheet. Uh. <laughs> oh. Unrecognized. Hmm. Unrecognized option input fight equals dash. Why, why does it do? Uh... Oh, wait. Let's go back here. And let's say, okay, we want to actually be able to test. No. Like, this won't work, but... Uh, it gives a bit closer. Let's move this here. And delete this. Okay. Unrecognized target test. Uh, run cabal build. Option input file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we do a? Can we just add? Okay, that's something else at least. A uh, package list. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Docker file. Okay, so I can I can say here fill. Okay, and then this is gonna be in here, okay, and then enable static and static enable static and enable executable static. Okay. Building test. Let's build it. There's probably some better way to do this. Um,
Because this is like always gonna always gonna update with the latest GHC. Uh latest cabal I mean. And this is also taking super long. That's not good. Let me see. I'm just gonna send a meme. Okay, this is not good. Uh, we can like download a, a tar file, right? Cabal update. Question actually, uh, what? Oh my god. So it ran? Okay, so we're running. Uh, so. Uh, so I have GC version, so it's using. It's like 8.8, .8, GC 8.8 .8 apparently. Okay, that's not optimal. Okay. So we were going to see a larger than 13. Now let's run it back. Sometimes it fails, but then we just uh, just run it again. Okay, now I want to run it again. Run it back. We keep them coming back. We keep them coming back. copy it over okay that's a shame and uh, let's see Maybe it didn't in install the bins there. Bum bum. I think if I say install, it puts the bins in the bin here. It puts the lotion on the skin. Puts the bin in the bin there. Yeah, you know everyone's. Oh no! Oh no! Uh... <sighs> what? Open binary file. Let's not exit. Let's exit. Yeah. 
Nice build system, huh? Okay, well, now it at least fails uh, every time. 50% of the time, it fails every time. Okay, uh, where, where, where does it actually put the things, of course? Cabal will help. Yes. Okay, uh, data there. Installation directory where you're on data sub directory. Can I just say prefix and then I'm just gonna see because I just want to see what it does, you know. But uh, this fail here is weird. Uh, some cabal install weirdness. Okay, license 883. Okay, 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 okay. Copy from build. Yes. Oh, see, sometimes it works, which is good. No. God damn it. Let me see. Okay. Uh, we run it. Execute it. So here we have a bubbles. There's nothing in there. God damn it. <sighs> now. Where does Cabal put everything? Oh, maybe it's built here. See, now it actually put something somewhere in the cabal bins. Okay, that's nice. But it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, you know, it's gonna be placed in like a... Yeah, you know, it's gonna be like a function of the... Uh, you know, of the...
I mean, it builds and runs, right? But like, I want I want this executable to be placed at a certain location. Let me actually actually just go here and. Uh, Let's go, let's go play something. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh... Um... So can I, can I just do, uh, why, you know, why doesn't the ball install work? That's because, you know, that should like copy it to, you know, like a global location, right? Open by license. Okay. Okay, it's a license file. Because we do say in test that there should be a license. Just delete it. Okay, now we have a SDist. Let me see. Okay, that was something. And now, can we say. Uh, bin here equals cabal. Ball bin. Can I do this? Let's see. <laughs> I have to wait for this again. Good thing I have my phone, huh? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna give this uh, 40 more minutes, and then we'll uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Yeah, you know, it's all about. Yeah, I gotta have I gotta have dinner soon. Well, not soon, in an hour. Yeah. So, what do you all do like when you're building? I just I just go on my phone usually, you know. I wish it was like a nice mini game. Oscar, I'm in Iceland. Okay, it's like 7:20. First of all, it's 7:20. Second of all, even if it was 2020, uh, that wouldn't be too late for dinner, right? What do you mean?
This takes too long. I wish there was like a Sims, like a mini game you could play. Yeah. You know? Do we have a mini game on this machine? Oh, okay, we got it. Okay, we got this. We'll talk about this. Resolving dependencies. Install. Building. Yes. Sim linking. It's all breaking out. Damn it. I made a new password because I knew I was going to be typing it. And I, I don't have it in my muscle memory. Oh, yeah, I have to actually run it again. it install install method copy right oh install there oh nice okay so we we will say yeah so cobalt install build there bin there okay we don't care about that but we will say, yeah, we're gonna change that. Yeah, okay, let's just keep this as it is. Install there equals small things. Install method equals uh, copy. And then we do this trick. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, wrote tarball. Okay, built. Dependencies starting. Building. Copying. Oh my god, I think it's working. I think we've got it. I think we got it. Let me see. Start it again. And then we run it. All right, we got it working with Cabal even, which is nice because we're going to be doing a library and we actually want that library to kind of work. We will we'll write the library, we'll use the library from the test file. And we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I need to, wait, I'm gonna put some color here. Even have some color, let me see. Uh, wait, why is this? Oh. Cool. See? Oh, I can see the chat. Sometimes my genius scares even me. That was a joke sometime. Okay, uh, but why is it like I don't get the... The chat is weird now. I need to... It's like centered somehow? Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, so let's see... Uh, let's actually... Uh, Create a repository. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, new AWS LRP. Yeah. 
period. You add. Okay, so this is the Docker file. It's the entry and test. It's this. License. Put the MIT license. Best license, right? We can actually do it here. We can do. We can do like a. We can do. A, yeah, no, we can't. Uh, license. Mit, choose a license. Uh, what it's simple. MIT. Let's do it. Copyright. Twenty twenty one. Nice. Gotta have them Icelandic letters, you know. Like I wondered, you know, if I use like. Non ASCII letters in the license, and like, like that is not my legal name. You know, my legal name has non ASCII letters. Is it just licensed to someone else? How does that even work? Uh, and then we want a git ignore. Uh, let's see. And Shall commit. Uh, oh. Builds with call. Git remote add. Treat load. No, so it's git add git hub. Com treat load. AWS larky. Git. Uh, git remote add. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, origin. What it's called main or something now, right? Change something, right? Let's see. Nice. And then I will do this. A uh, Docker. No. That's cool. And then we commit it. Let me pull. Oh my god. Get pull origin master. Nice. Let's say this. Okay. Uh, Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, but we still, like, it's still not good in the sense that. Like we build an executable. No, no, it doesn't explode. We we managed to uh, build it, and it even builds with Cabal and everything. Uh, so it works quite good. Uh, let's see. Uh, so Docker, and it. Uh, it actually builds, you know, a 25 megabit image. And it's including packages. So we can uh, 
Wow, yeah. And now, see, it's like it generates these cabal bins and we can actually run them. Without it crashing, which is good. Pretty good stuff. But my issue now is the following. That this is actually going to uh, it, it copies over everything from Cabal bins. And then we have entry dodge. Sorry, I pronounced shell, right? Shh. Now we're gonna say entry dodge. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say cabal bins. That's gonna be our entry. Uh, and then, you know, because that's gonna be user defined, right? No. I wish I could undo. Uh, there we go. No, yeah. And then we add this. And we run the entry point. Now. And now it's executing the test and not uh, but I have no idea what that even means I don't know what this ride thing does I think it I think it I think it uh, takes in a uh, I think we can now like send uh, HTTP events and it will it will invoke this executable something like that uh, let's uh, let's just look it up oh yeah now it's uh, it's online now AWS LARPY feel free to start it if you want to follow along but uh, yeah, this will also serve as a kind of an experimental. Now, uh, Amazon Rye. Wait, where did we add it from? Uh, uh, yes, Lambda. Runtime interface emulator. Now, this. Uh, this. Run your container image. This command runs, and then we can. Okay, what will happen? What will happen? Ah, wait, so I have to first run it, and I have to like map the ports, right? Uh, P. What does it say? Nine thousand eighty eighty. Nine thousand eighty eighty. Okay, that's something. And I think we want yet another window. And uh, okay. And then we're gonna just curl this. Okay, so it runs. It is, you know, it, it runs the main function. And then it fails. It's just nice, which is exactly what we want to do. What haven't you tried, Oliver? The, the runtime interface simulator thing? 
because I think uh, yeah yeah so I think I think I think So there's two ways to go. So let's start out with like implementing it using the runtime emulator, which just invokes something. And then like, cause this actually, you know, this is what it will do. You know, you have to start an endpoint that listens on this here. And that's like, you know, we want to do that with warp. But, uh, but the command invokes the function. Now, what does that even mean? Uh, what does it mean by invoking the function? Okay, let's uh, let's figure it out. Uh, go bin test. Got uh, HS. We're gonna say. Uh, Google, uh, there's a function called get args. Uh, I don't remember, it's in system.environment. Uh, import system.environment. Uh, do, uh, I, this is my favorite Star Wars quote. It's working. It's working! Remember that? It's like Anakin when he fixed his pod razor. Good stuff. Spill it. You know, I could relate to that. I was like eight when I saw that movie first, and I'm like, mm. he fixed his pod razor, you know? Nice. Let's hope there's no compile error because, uh, like, reading the error message from this Docker output would be would be non-fun, not fun trademarked. Okay. Now, because I I don't know how we're getting this. this is like, we don't get any args. I think uh, we just we just want like uh, maybe it's in standard standard input uh, standard. I, yeah, there's like there's functions for this but yeah I forget system.io I think it's just get contents yeah let's just do that do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, this is gonna print and get contents footster ellen footster ellen uh centered in what is something right build it Break it, use it, buy it, fix it, crash it, check it, update it, name it, read it, tune it, print it, scan it, send it, fax it, name it. Yeah, I think so. I think because like then we run it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Uh, let's see. I mean, it's uh, it's got it's got to be in you know standard in right. Doesn't make sense to do anything else. <sighs> okay, so standard in was okay. So that was it was nothing. So build duration. I hope I'm not getting billed for this. No, I don't think so. It's just uh, it's just doing all the runtime stuff. 
Uh, what? Wait. Now it's not even. Uh, now it's not even printing anything. Where did you learn all this? Um, I worked with Docker for a couple of years. Back, way back when, like three, four years ago. Otherwise, we just, we just been learning it now. We just been, it's kind of like, you know, general command line knowledge. And then we were, were fiddling around. But, uh, so it's gonna invoke it's gonna invoke the function but what does it mean what does that mean AWS uh, Lambda invocation uh, Okay uh, <sighs> do, 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 when you invoke the Lambda deploys the code return execute Lambda calls a code entry point specified in the function configuration. The entry point or CMD. Yeah, but what is it? Can we just like say Uh, do you work in industry? Uh, I I do both. Or like uh, I used to work in I used to work I've worked at a bunch of startups. Uh, or like not a bunch, like two or three. Um, and that's but I mean I mean academia now technically, but uh, I still try to keep up because you know. Uh, I'm gonna be working in industry eventually, right? So you gotta know what you're doing. Hey, you, you, you. So, you know, you, you you can find mathematicians in academia in industry. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're here. We're. Uh, I mean, some of us are queer, uh, but. Uh, yeah, used to it i guess i don't know i don't even know what i'm saying um wish get environment let's just let's just dump everything get environment print I mean, uh, there's just a lot of mathematicians working in Haskell, you know. Uh, it's uh, it's a very like if you're used to math. Yeah, I think Haskell comes very naturally. Um, but you know, I initially I was a yeah I, I just did math because I thought it was hard, and I wanted to do something hard. You know, if you're gonna be studying all the time, might as well be studying something hard. You know, you gotta challenge yourself. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a functional language. Yeah. Well it's a lazy functional language. I think that's kind of the definition of Haskell. Uh yes. Like uh
Ciao. I get all this, but what does it mean? What does it mean? Like, how, do, how does the handler get invoked? Uh, how does the handler get invoked? That is a question. Okay. Okay, we have the idea of this runtime API. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, so this just invokes the function. This just invokes the function, and now we... Now we have to query... We have to do the query. So now... Now we're at this... This part. Uh, we're at this part. Uh, custom runtime, runtime interface. Uh, yeah, so now we have to... Now we have to do the gets and the stuff. Runtimes get an endpoint from the AWS Lambda Runtime Environment variable, add the API version, and use the following resource paths to interact with the API. Okay, so now we gotta do a get. Path Runtime Invocation next, okay. So I'm just going to do something weird just to see if it's actually doing what it's doing. Uh, System.process uh, System.process Haskell. Uh, we're just going to, we're just going to run. We don't have B yet. Uh, I think it's called REC. Uh, package REC. Web request, also known as REC. Um, it's gonna be good. So, yes. Okay, now let's see here. So we need this AWS Lambda Runtime API variable. Okay, so we're gonna say HTTI import system.environment. Now let's look up and yeah, that's gonna take in this. Yeah, okay, so we say here. Okay, so uh, config. Uh, so, uh, Yeah, so let's just, uh, okay, let's just hard code it first. Uh, 
delete this. So we're gonna say uh, uh, API is just gonna be uh, so lookup and has the type maybe I guess right lookup and yeah so it's gonna be uh, so just API is gonna be lookup and AWS run p and time API. Um, so that's gonna be this here. Uh, and now we're, we're gonna we wanna do a get request to this point here. Um, a path is, oh my god! I have to copy and I have to. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna use rec, right? Because I'm gonna be doing... Well, I don't actually need a rec, right? Because a rec is like super powerful and does HTTPS and stuff, but I don't... I don't think I need HTTPS. Uh, so, HTTP... I think I can just use... network.http rec. Uh, I think that's enough. That would be nice, right? Uh, it depends on network, and network is built in, I think. Yeah, and network with network socket uh, vector IO blah blah blah. This is too much. This is too low level. Um, network, some AP network B is that network. Okay, uh, I think there is, there's, there is a module, uh, modules included with GNC. Uh, I think it's here. I'm just, I'm just hoping that there is like a. I, I remember there was, there was like a. Uh, there was, you know, something. Uh, yeah. There was something that was a. Wait. No, that's not a good. Part of the like Haskell platform. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was just you could just use it directly. Oh, the HTTP packet. Is that is that included? Uh, I guess. What does it depend on? Okay, these are all built in, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's just kind of, yeah, okay. It's very low level. That's nice. Let's see. So, let's, uh, let's just build it in test first, right? Start a ball, and here we're gonna say it's gonna be HTTP 
copy. Because I don't even know, you know, if this works. Uh, import network.http. And uh, Work. So we're just gonna say get request. Um, okay, so it's gonna be simple HTTP. Yeah, okay. So uh, we're gonna say simple HTTP. Uh, what, how do we write it? Yeah, like this. Get request uh, and what is it going to be? HTTP plus uh, API plus uh, this string here. the API pass. Now res is going to be this. And then we're going to say yeah, get response body. Get response body res into print. Let's build it. Now it's gonna have to install the HTTP package, right? Uh, I'm just hoping that this doesn't like introduce any dependencies that we're then not gonna have. So there's a really good book called Learn You a Haskell. Uh, and that's where I learned my Haskell. It's, it, it, there's um, uh, I don't remember, there's one very good book. Uh, programming in Haskell is really good. I like that one and I like this one this one is also good I think I, I have both of these this is the one I learned from uh, and I, I read this one too but I would recommend probably this one like uh, it's pretty recent and it, it goes into a lot of the good stuff but uh, this one was good this one was pretty good yeah what I would recommend and then you know just get started and start filling out see what happens okay now we're building a wreck oh yeah nice also uh, yeah Graham Graham is a nice guy so yeah, everyone should buy his book. And he's like, he, he teaches Haskell, you know. So it's like a book to teach Haskell by a by a guy who teaches a lot of Haskell, you know. Which is okay. It didn't fail. Nice. Okay, let's go. Let's see. 
Okay. And. Uh, oh, wow. See, we got the data. Hello. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so what it's doing is that it's it, it just because it, it's not starting a it's supposed to start a server uh, that like listens on these invocations and then waits for the next one, but it's it, it just dies as the one. See, it's working. We're getting uh, we're getting good stuff. It's good. Pretty good stuff. So we're we're getting there. I mean this this time around was a bit much about uh, getting Docker to work and everything. Uh, so let's 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 turn this off. Let's let's say a uh, test touch. Oh. Test touch. Okay. Now this is uh, user. And so this is a test command. Okay. And what is the command we run here? Uh, it's this. So we need to build it. And then we need to run it, but here we want to detach. Uh, detach. Pseudo docker uh, atomf lark. So we want to stop the previous container. And then we run it, detach it, test it. Let's run it back. Oh no. Which bash? Okay. Uh, bash. Does that work? Yeah, so now we need to. So we build it. And then it. Uh, successfully tagged. This is no such container LRP. Uh, or true. I we don't want it to fail. Okay, we run it. It tries to stop. Um, Docker PS. Pseudo Docker. Uh, wait, so it's running now, but uh, uh, oh yeah, okay. I mean, we're not returning any reply or anything. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything actually. But uh, at least um, we're getting there, right? I want to see a. Uh, I think, cause like, uh, I think we should be able to do HTTP package. So state of the art Haskell eco. System R Tom. There was a guy who uh, No, that's that's the that's the that's the thing, right? I don't have I don't have the uh let's see here. 
Shipwreck. HTTP client. Uh, okay, this one is. Okay, this is the conduit one. This is Vrec. Vrec depends on a lot of stuff. Yeah. And then we have Vrec and Vrec. Mark Karpov, he's also, he's a legend. I like, uh, I like him. Because uh, what I'm what I'm thinking is, uh, yeah, no. So I mean, so I don't I don't actually have anything listening, right? It uh, it it just kind of it starts it, and then instead of waiting or starting a server or anything, it just it just immediately queries the API, and that's why we're getting this, you know, like runtime.exit error here because you know it's it stops it doesn't actually continue after it does this right um so we're we're that's what we should work on next i i think i will what is the difference between wreck and wreck Motivation and rec versus other libraries. That's sweet. Yeah, so this we need to go to the GitHub page. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I need. And that's what like that's the next step. Uh, but we're just not quite there yet. So they don't like HTTP. HTTP client is supposed to be very simple. Let's do it. For sure. I'm just wondering uh, what we should be using. Okay, I don't see warp. We want to use warp. It's super fast. Super fast. Let's uh, see. Uh, request. I think it has to like open a server and listen for requests on uh, online request and runtime to receive invocation events. Okay, yes. So next invocation, we send a get. Do not set a timeout on the get call. Uh, between when Lambda bootstraps the runtime and when the runtime has an event to return, the runtime process may be frozen for several seconds. 
Okay, so let's just write here uh, loop IO loop equals a So I don't think we actually need a... Uh, we probably want our web server, right? Otherwise, we always have to run the user runtime API. Uh, let's see here. Now, let's build it again. Now we're gonna so I'm gonna use warp. Warp is super fast and super quick. Uh, and it's like the that that's that's what you use to build a web server. That's cool. Or like you can use or maybe I'll use servant to make it more type safe. Uh, but uh, let's see. Uh, wait no. Now now I wanna modify the uh, modify the Docker file a bit. And I want to say, uh, I want to say, uh, add test test and Kamal. And then I want to say, run all of this. Except I want to say, uh, dependencies. And then I want to add the rest. Because then, so if I do it this way, like uh, whenever I, uh, yeah, 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 I will. I'll do that. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this this way anyway too. Let's go to a Docker file. Yeah, so how do I do this? Wait. say here Okay, 
Now we're just gonna make it configurable. And then we say here. Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. Don't let me see. And then we build it and then we do okay. yeah. This will this will work. Let's see. Okay, return a non zero code one. Um, What we're trying to do now is that I wanted to just install the dependencies so that uh, I don't have to do that every single time I rebuild and change the code because uh, then that will be cached by by the uh, so the, the dependencies will be cached by the docker image and it won't uh, you don't need to redo that every single time which is good so i'm gonna i'm gonna do this i'm gonna see if it if we if we do the loop uh let's see Now let's look at the get request. And you're absolutely right. You know we need to remove the 
you need to remove the uh, timeout here uh, request um, uh, so let's see let's uh, it seems to be configured in simple HTTP uh, Let's actually, let's move away from this network.http library. Um, not that it's not good, it's just a... It's just a... It's just, um, I, I don't think you can configure the timeout. Like there wasn't, wasn't anything there uh, to, to configure it. Okay, let's see. Red Cooper, Red Prime. Uh, okay, let's just see. HTTP method, scheme body. Okay, so network.http.rec uh, uh, Okay, yeah And see, now Instead of, so it failed on the code itself But because we we cache the uh, the cabal build we don't have to rebuild everything again which is nice uh do you mean okay wait uh, let's see Seems to have worked. The compilation, copying, copy. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm actually wondering now. We can probably do this, right? Um. I think we can do this. I don't think like we can we can like put the cabal bins in there like at the end so that you know it doesn't do the whole you know get the runtime stuff all every single time either. Now this, now these parts will be cached, right? Nice. Okay. 
Can we run it? Oops. Oh, right. I have these detached ones. Now let's run it. Okay, and then we send an okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Wow, okay, so so that just looped it again and again and again. It wasn't like updating the request. Uh Let's see. Invocation response. Uh, send an invocation to response to lambda. After lambda invokes the function handler, plus the response from the function. Okay, so we get. I uh, get. So next. Okay, so there's some headers. Yeah, yeah. See, now we have to do some header work, right? So we we need to do the next. Uh, and then we get the request ID and then we will like we have to post the response right okay 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 now I'm actually gonna use this rec thing I think that's it that seems good Okay, uh, rack 3.38. So we're just gonna say here, a uh, let's see, a uh, being test main data. Because you only want it to start from this stuff. Okay. Um, okay, so it's. Uh, we've been going for two and a half hours now. And uh, I really need actually to get something to eat. So we're gonna pause for today. And. Uh, I think so. I think we should say we'll be back tomorrow. I'll push what we have now here. Uh, add test. Um, get commit. I get it with network uh, So I'm gonna push this upstream or master, and uh, and then uh, oh my god. And uh, so this will finish running, I guess. And then I push the code up. So if you want to play around with it, you can try it out yourselves. But I'm going to take a break for now. How's some dinner? And I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, I, w I would want to say like I'll be back in two hours, but that's, uh, that's going to be a bit much. So I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, same time. Like I started six o'clock UTC, which is like seven o'clock in a uh, in a uh, the Europe. Um, not quite sure what it is in the US actually, but uh, something good. 
and then we will keep going and we'll see you know where we get but i think we're you know we managed to get the runtime working we managed to get cabal and ghc working uh, in the alpine docker image and i'm thinking you know that's pretty good that's uh that's kind of half the battle now we just actually have to implement the you know the api right uh which is you know and we kind of know how to do that but we've kind of dealt with all the systems hacking we needed to do so far which is good uh so yeah thanks for tuning in and uh, see you tomorrow uh at uh, the same time all right bye bye